Hello to the people watching this video. Um, my name is British Boy, and uh, today I'm playing Minecraft, as you can see. But uh, it's not a server. It's not survival. I'm not trying to accomplish really anything today. I'm showing off because over the I've made the super fight world. You know, I've created so much forest. I've given it life. You know. And I'm doing a quick over overview of, you know, what it looks like from really high above. And then I'm doing something I did on my old channel, which I'm not posting on anymore. I'm done with that one. But uh, I will be showing you my Five Nights at Freddy's place based off of the first game and what I've played and what I've seen of it in Minecraft. So Super Fat World started just originally flat. I'm building a city. Eventually, hopefully, I haven't built that here in a while. So I'm giving you an overview. Oh, it's really cloudy. But, you know, this is what you can really kind of see. There's a bunch of grass down there, tiny little details. Um, as I've done interiors to a good amount of buildings and stuff. So I'm gonna go to the very first place I started, really. And that would be down here. And this place, you know, this area, started somewhere about here. And I didn't know what to do at first. I was like, you know, I'm going to build uh, F F Freddy's Pizza, Rhea. And I was like, you know, I should build a road leading to it and some trees on the side. So uh, that started with that. I decided to add the farm there to make it look more like a road. So, you know, you're going through. Then I decided to add an auto mechanic shop. Then I decided to add a, f a part of a factory that's not finished yet. I've added more forests. I've added different streets. I've added parts of a neighborhood. And it's all coming together. Um, so I'm just gonna, I've added telephone poles too. I forgot to mention that. But um, I'm just gonna go down this road. You can see until we get to Freddy's Pizza. So I've done, I planted all the trees, all the grass, built every block in here. My, none, none of my friends, none of my family that plays this game has helped. But it's all led to this beautiful foresty world. And um, so the first um, really like building I built here, and it's actually changed an amount. I've added parts to the back, I've added interior based off of other uh, like future games so it's just kind of like generally it's not based off of any one specific Five Nights at Freddy's game it's um a combination of different ones different videos I've seen of it because I haven't played every single one I haven't beaten any of them yet but um yeah so you'd, you'd drive over here pull up in many other parking spaces and employees would go around the side here to the very back where they would park back here because you don't need too many employees here um and some would park over here in the front maybe by the street um and i got freddy's pizza it's not the best sign ever it's my first one i've done uh but you'd walk up to freddy's pizza you go through the door here you talk to these people if you're arranging a party uh you talk to them if you need anything in particular you want to get like tokens for the video games uh, different pizza orders you can do, you can talk to them here and get your tickets to go in. So it's kind of a little lobby, um, and you walk through here and you're in the center. And, oh man, oh, I haven't been in here for a while. Uh, but uh, over here is how you get into the employee area where they got some chests, um, this little booth to talk to people, write down stuff. And over here is where you uh, talk to the people to get your pizza made. And you can watch the uh, chefs make it and preheat it and uh, all sorts of stuff to the pizza. Uh, so yeah. Um, the, so we've got different tables and stuff. Um, we've got different things that the chefs would cook on. Go for different tables and stuff. And that's it for the kitchen. And now we are moving on to the dining room. Okay, so um, in the main hall area, you're gonna have the animatronics at the front, right? And all these tables. There's nothing too interesting happening here. It's just like the main room, got Freddy, Chica Bunny. They um, 
I'm not the best maids, but uh, you know they work. You know, what else can I say? They they work. It, it serves a purpose. You got the red curtain behind them. The alternating coloured tables. Um, and then oh, I don't think there's anything else to really say here right now. But then when you come down here. Uh, you have Foxy in his little area where he dances around. You got the arcade machines and employees only. All right, and uh, no really like kids come down here. But um, oh shoot, that door was open. Just pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Now, if you over here, there's the restrooms. You know, just normal good old things. Um, oh, here's the button. Okay, then we've got a security office where security guard sits here with all his monitors, um, watches the cameras, he's got the window out here if he really needs to, he can close it, but he uses energy, so it's mainly open, you know, just like the actual game. And then here is the management office where purple guy controls everything. Now, here he's got the bookshelves, his desk and stuff, uh, and normally if you're standing here, that doesn't work, so you, you like, can't really see anything back there. Um, there's some, also some keys here for, um, no, getting into rooms and stuff, like the mechanical room, which is out there, which you will see later. But, um, here, uh, you know, you'd be talking to the purple guy, nothing seems suspicious, but then he goes down here. And he goes through the vents, all around, and you come around up in here, and this is, um, animatronic skeletons, and his magical chests are where the children's souls are locked away, um, so it's just, like, part of the vent system, and, um, if he continues to go all the way around, um, it's like, it seriously goes all the way around the building. You can reach a mechanical room, which is like, I tried to make it look like it had a bunch of different uh, things that would, you know, power the building, uh, the ovens and stuff, and the keys to get into it from the outside. But if he opens this, he can just pretend it's any old room and lure children in where he murders them and puts them in animatronic suits. So I'm just gonna head back all the way around. And actually, it's not the longest tour, but it's, that's really it uh, for the whole building. <laughs> it's overall design. Um, it's pretty simple. This whole um, uh, employees only, but was added later. Um, and that mechanical room was originally bigger and that was the original security office. Um, but yeah, that's why you see all the little, um, trap doors, uh, which you can see down into the vent system. So I'm gonna head back out, do another quick overview, and then yeah, I think, uh, that'll be it for this video. Do one more view of the outside, the front. And that concludes my Freddy's Pizza Shop uh, tour um, and kind of ex explanation of this world that I might be doing some future videos in. Um, now, whoever's watching this, please like it. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe consider subscribing. Um, and then, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. 
I really hope you enjoyed it and um, anybody who's watching let me know what you'd like to see next in this world or maybe things you liked or didn't like about the shop. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.